All right, hey, what's up guys, it's Roy here. So today I have the Spigen Slim Armor case here for the Samsung Galaxy S24. So they do make this for the Plus and Ultra as well. For the S24 regular, this is the only MagFit case that they have for the S24. So unfortunately there is no other uh, cases in their lineup that have MagSafe capabilities. But as you can tell here, it looks really awesome from the phone case uh, box itself. Uh, it does say drop tested military standard there. It does show a picture that it does have a kickstand and then it is uh, Samsung Galaxy or made for Samsung Galaxy. So, you know, they've worked with them on all that. Um, so let's go ahead and get this bad boy out. So this one I couldn't find on Amazon for whatever reason. Uh, if you happen to come across it, uh, please do let me know because I'd love to link it down in my description. But I did look around and just could not find it. But inside the box, it does have this uh, do not bend top of the case type of thing. So it's just kind of giving you some instruction uh, there. Um, but uh, it's just kind of that right there. But I'm going to show you how to install it. I don't think it's very difficult with any phone case typically. But, uh, but it is a two-part case. That's one thing that I immediately noticed right off the bat, that it does have a combination of TPU and polycarbonate. But uh, we'll focus on the back here in just a sec. But inside, very reminiscent of kind of like the Tough Armor case. So a lot of this nice bright yellow padded cushion uh, that's going up against the phone. As you can see, the ring there for MagSafe. You can see the kickstand poking through there. And then it does say Slim Armor as well. Now it is going to have the air cushion technology. You can see in the corners that it is got those little bumpers in there. Uh, individual cutouts and all that good stuff. So yeah, let's get this bad boy slapped on. So let me grab the S24 here and I'm just going to pop it in and there it is. You don't have to take it apart and there is the color. It's this metal slate color, which I think looks really good. They also have a, just a solid black one as well, but I don't know. There's something to be said about this one, like just looking at it in person with the lights hitting it. It looks really cool. It's kind of like a gunmetal gray, then it almost looks like a blue, and it just looks really good. But as you can see here, a lot of different stuff cooking back here. So one, I really like kind of this ribbed pattern. If you can hear that, it's up here too. Um, but it's here and here around the uh, MagSafe part. And then you got this like circular part there in the middle with the Spigen branding, so that's kind of cool. Uh, individual cutouts once again, which look great. I'm always a big fan of phone cases when they do this. I'm a big, big fan of that. Looks very clean, especially with the individual uh, kind of cutouts that the uh, Samsung phone has in general. And then naturally the cutout there for the flash as well. Uh, and then we do have our kickstand here, which is on this side that it opens up, uh, which I don't know. I feel like with muscle memory, I felt like kickstands open from this side for some reason, but they did decide to do it right here, which we'll test here in just a bit. Does feel like it has a little bit of some decent resistance, so it's not like super flimsy or anything like that. Like it'll hold its angle as you can see, uh, but we'll test that out here in just a few minutes. But all around looks good, feels good, has this uh, very um, kind of matted gummy filling, if that makes sense. I mean, it's a hard polycarbonate, but it does have a little bit of a like a cushiony feel to it. And then of course here at the bottom, matte black as well. Now looking at the sides here, as you can see, uh, it does one say slim armor mag fit right there. If that can zoom in there, maybe it's in focus. Uh, and then we have a little bit of a grippy pattern here, which is nice. Uh, the volume up and down button and the power button are very flat as you can see. So once again, very reminiscent of the tough armor. Uh, but the power button does have some little ridges in it as well, or teeth, if you will. The volume up and down have a plus and minus if you forgot which one is which. And if we go to the top, you can see the different color, you know, the different colors and combinations of materials there with the hole punch outs there for the microphones. And then on this side, it's kind of the same thing, except the kind of different gripping material is in the middle. And when I'm holding the phone, I tend to kind of have my thumb there. So I guess that's kind of why the placement's there. It seems natural, uh, which I am okay with. And then if we look at the bottom, then we do have our cutouts here for the USB-C charging port. And then of course, 
our uh, single cutout there for the speaker. Now looking at the front, you can see we do have some raised lips, which is nice. So very good uh, lip protection there if you do place it face down. And while we're doing that, let's go ahead and test out the capabilities of the shakiness. So with my wobble test, face down pretty much passes with flying colors, but back down, yeah. If I hit this corner for whatever reason, it, it's moving. But it, once again, guys, it, it's not like any of these speaking cases, it's not wobbling like my, you know, 15 Pro would where, you know, it's just a shaky mess all over the place. It, it's just, it moves, but it's not wobbling. So it's, it's a very flat surface. I mean, as you can tell, I mean, it is very, very flat. So it does pass, in my opinion, with flying colors. Now let's go ahead and test out the capabilities of the clicky buttons. So clicky button test, power button, very responsive, nice, and volume up and down. Oh yeah, very clicky guys. So passes with flying colors. So next let's go ahead and test out the MagSafe capabilities. So I'm gonna slap that on there, obviously, wirelessly charging, but how strong is that connection? Because with this mouse MagSafe charger, it's not the strongest and it seems to do pretty good. I mean, I got some decent resistance there as I'm pulling. Obviously I can swing it around and it's gonna do just fine. And you can also easily use this with any MagSafe accessories in your vehicle. So if you have, you know, MagSafe chargers or anything like that at home, at your desk or in your vehicle, these magnets hold up very well. The MagFit magnets with any of the speaking cases I've tested have always done very well. Uh, so it's kind of nice that with it being a Samsung and someone like myself who has Android and iPhones, um, I do appreciate being able to kind of universally use MagSafe uh, like I can universally use a USB-C charging cable as well. Um, but now let's go ahead and test the actual kickstand. I'm always a big fan of phone cases that have kickstands. As you can see, this angle, it works perfect. And I can flip it upside down and have the kickstand bottom like that. It does angle it a little more further back and I can push it, but as you can see, it's slowly boop, gonna fall. So it doesn't really hold it that well if we go that angle, but if I push it in a little bit more to kind of have it more upright, it's holding up very nicely. So you can definitely have it sit up a little bit more. Uh, and then let's see if it does, if uh, it'll allow me to do it. Yeah, so it'll allow me to do it in portrait mode as well. So if you're gonna record yourself doing like TikToks or if you're doing some like uh, you know YouTube shorts or something like that, uh, it does actually hold up as well pretty nice. So not too shabby guys. So really, really digging that. So with all that being said, I definitely like this case, especially with the MagFit uh, MagSafe capabilities. I just absolutely love that with my Samsung device. Uh, but all in all, guys, feels good in the hand. I love the grippier materials on the sides to kind of just give you that extra added uh, safety in your brain and just overall just feel and touch. I think it does a really, really, really good job. So hit that like button if you liked the video. If you loved it, please subscribe. Ring that notification bell for up-to-date content. So be safe. God bless. I'll see you on the next one.